Good morning guys, what's happening? Welcome back to the video. Still borrowing this camera. What are our thoughts on it? So I've actually done a bit of research into this camera. I quite like it. I haven't looked at yesterday's footage, but if it looks nice, I think I'm going to get one. Because I feel like it's just like wider, it's just better. We're here with Bird. We've just finished circuit class. Well, Beth joined in on my circuit class. Beth, out of 10, how good was my circuit class? How what? Out of 10, how good was my circuit class? 10, of course. It's unreal. Get your, me. Yeah, get your, oh, yeah. get yourself down there if you want to join it. 9 a.m. Walls are studios. Right, we're going for brunch because we're both off now. Uh, I'm going to train with Toby and Adam later, and it's going to be a upper session. And I'm going to film an edit in the new gym. I showed some raw footage in the last vlog, but yeah. Right, let's do it. Let's roll those titles. Yeah. Ten years later, <laughs> Parrot Park, number 35. Under pressure, but we're in. We're in on the high street. I'm so red. Right, let's go get some pancakes. You ain't seen these pancakes on the channel probably for a very long time. Have you ever had these pancakes on the channel? I don't think so. I'm thinking about doing a pancake challenge with that, <gasps> but I'm not going to tell the people yet. But let's show you what the pancakes are about. Right, how do I zoom out? The struggle was real. Second breakfast. <laughs> right, updates then. First of all, you just had Josie's, that was unreal. I made Beth get the pancakes because so I knew she wouldn't finish them. So then I could eat two, as well as having a normal breakfast. You could, the bulk is really on, you can tell that. Then uh, we just come home chilled. I actually just fell asleep for the first time, like napped in the day. I never nap, never ever. Probably the first one ever. Just napped for about 20 minutes. Felt pretty good, but now I feel tired as shit. And me and the boys are about to go and hit a upper session. So the training program for the minute is push, pull, legs, upper, lower, five days a week, two days rest within the week, wherever that fits. It's going pretty well so far. I also want to talk to you about my goals for this cut um, and stuff like that in more detail. So that will be within this video. But first, we're going to go and do a kick-ass edit with the boys, Tobes and Ads. Well, let's do it. What's that funneling gains like? This is why I like this camera. <laughs> right, so we're here with Yened and Ads. Tobes, pass us that pre. So we're trying out time for, is it time for nutrition or just time for, just time for, um, bubble gum. This is Toby's brother's, I'll be stolen. But we had a little lick of it. That seemed pretty legit. Toby, can you funnel one with me some, please? Thank you. Oh, would you say that lens is wider than mine, normally? Definitely, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. It's quite good, isn't it? That's not the worst. Right, try a bit of that because it's a bit more, it's a bit stronger. Bit of a funny aftertaste. more like bubble gum now. Bit of a funny aftertaste. Yeah. Right, let's do this. Okay then, 
wrapped up an unreal upper workout. Boys, what are we saying about that workout? Yeah. Solid. Ads, first time in the 24-7, what are you thinking? Yeah, really good. Really good. good. Yeah. So, it's like, like I said, I told you in the last video, that was the, when I introduced you to the new gym. But basically, it's a 24-7 gym, but it's just got loads of plate-loaded machines and stuff like that that you don't normally get in the pures or the gyms and stuff like that. So it's decent. Post-workout meal, you already know. We're doing Nando's with the squad, and this is the first Nando's when I'm bulking. So let's see how my meal changes while I bulk. Buffalo chicken, peri tamer, that's a standard. Spicy rice on the bulk, simple. Swap out side salad for garlic bread. And Ash just gave me halloumi sticks for the first time. Very, very tasty. Right then, peeps. What's happening? Just here with some cherries. And let's round off this video. So, what is this video? I can't remember. This is the video with Tobes and Ads, that little edit. We are talking about goals for this bulk. So, the goals in terms of uh, lifts and weight. The goal is to get up to between 85 and 90 gears. Drop that bit, Cherry. And in terms of the weights that I'm lifting, I'm not really, really bothered about hitting these huge PR. Like strength is something that's never bothered me. I've never been a strong lad, to be honest. So I'm not really asked about hitting heavy singles all the time and trying to smash these PRs. Having said that, you need to be doing progressive overload. You need to be increasing either the volume that you're lifting, so the weight that you're lifting. So say if I hit 85 on bench, five by five one week, the next week I need to hit it for five sets of six or take the weight up a little bit. You need to be progressing like that every few weeks. Having said that, I'm not really bothered about hitting, like I said, big singles and stuff like that. So my training split's actually gonna change. It's gonna change to a push-pull legs, upper, lower. What that does is that gives me two rest days and I feel like I need more free, I need an extra rest day in the week because when you push heavier weights and you are lifting heavier, you need to let your body rest a little bit more and your CNF rest a little bit more. I'm also going to keep up my cardio. I'm still going to do three cardio a week, just 20 minutes to half an hour, just so I'm not putting on stupid amounts of unnecessary fat while I do this bulk. In terms of muscle group that I want to improve, I really, really want to bring up my legs. I felt at DSX, I was really restricted. I could only really squat, front squat, deadlift, stiff leg deadlift, and do some lunges, and that's all we really could do there. In this new gym, there's some great equipment. The leg press is amazing, the hack squat's wicked. So I feel like I've got some, some things to make up for there and bring that up. Abs, I really want to bring up my abs this year in terms of start training the, them with weight um, so they become more prominent so that when I do diet back down, they pop more, they're way more visible. I feel like my abs improved a lot last year, this year to last year, but I want to take that next further. And then just just generally my all-round physique. Oh, just want to get bigger. I know that I'm going to lose my abs, I'm going to lose all my definition, my the vascularity and stuff like that, but I'm not bothered about that. It's all part of the process, and I don't think you should worry about that if, you, if you're in that stage of bulking and you're worried about putting on a bit of fluff, that, that, that's gonna happen. So yeah, there's a few of my goals for this bulk. Goal setting is so important. Make sure that if you're, like if you don't set goals, it's gonna be hard for you to ever know when you're happy with your progress. Set goals so you have something to work towards at each stage. And I just find that's just a way that I really like to progress. But I've been rambling for four minutes now. I'm sat in the sun, my forehead's starting to sweat. It's so hot, it's actually lovely. But yeah, I'm gonna shut off this vlog. I actually am filming about nine different videos because I was just taking advantage of using a friend's camera. But now I've got this one. Anyway, all these footage is gonna be jumbled in together. Hope you like this video. If you have, make sure you leave it a thumbs up. Hit me some ideas for videos in terms of bulking. I'm gonna do a few cheat meal videos. I'm gonna do loads. The channel's gonna keep growing. We're closing in on 500 subscribers. So I hope to see you in the next one. Peace out.